Enjoy 1% merchant commission when you accept Lanka Pay cards. Contact these banks today. Welcome to Times Online. Today I am seated alongside the 17 year old Chanitma Simali, who recently emerged as a 42nd national squash champion, beating a three times previous champion. Chanitma, to start with, a big well done. You finished the year on a high. How does it feel? Actually, I should say it is a very successful year, uh, not only in sports but also in academics. I did my O levels this year and uh, I got good results and also uh, this time I did participate in Commonwealth Games also uh, and after this the national game and yes fortunately I could become the national champion this year also. It is actually a successful year so I'm really happy for that. Also talking about uh, your career, I mean you are a maiden winner, upsetting a three times winner. How did you manage to pull it off? Being the national champion is really happy. My aim wasn't to upset anyone actually. It was the dream of becoming the national champion. So from that Commonwealth Games time also, after that, uh, we went Commonwealth Games with a lot of problems. And even after that, uh, my only intention, like I practice, I train for uh, this, this tournament. Actually, this year, my main target was to become the national champion. I, I've been playing uh, Nationals for three years now. So first two years I played the Nationals, but I was the runner-up for two years and then this third year I could win. So I'm actually really glad about that. Sri Lanka's cross is currently without a national coach. Hence, how was it possible to finally clinch that crown? Talking about the national coach, we had a national coach earlier during that Commonwealth time period. Uh, it was Mr. Gul from Pakistan. Actually, we had uh, it was a great time. I learned a lot from him. But with that, I could say, though the Sri Lanka squash was with the national uh, coach or wasn't, I did my training with my father, who was my coach as well, uh, from since the time uh, since the time I started playing squash. So I did my training with him all the time. Uh, so that's the thing actually. Uh, it doesn't matter whether we didn't have a national coach. So my father was there with me to train me all the time. So that. That's how I actually trained uh, with my father and also with some mates who there for me to train with. So that's the thing actually. Uh, he was a coach with me. A father-daughter combination has taken you a long way. To be yes, of course. It's not only in sports but also in academics that uh, that bond was really strong. Uh, even with the help of my mother, uh, we could do a lot actually this year. How did you take this sport uh, time? Since my father is a coach, as I was in grade 2, I started playing squash, so that was the foundation I got. And also, uh, my school, Sirma Bandaranaika Vidyalaya, the national level squash players, so that might be one thing that I always wanted to be someone like that. So that's the thing. With that foundation uh, my father gave me and the foundation I got from my school, that was the main uh, thing that I got into this sport. This year is of Asian Games significance. Uh, any special preparation? Because if you take uh, your international squash calendar, there are only four international tournaments and Asian Games takes a major part. The Asian Games are supposed to be held at uh, 2022. It postponed. At that time, we had a plan. But now, actually, we don't have a plan. We just uh, continue our training. Uh, I'm pretty sure Federation will inform us soon about a training plan, training session, and everything. So. Currently, I'm um, training individually my private sessions with my father. We will go to your all-important final where it all unfolded. Uh, your first two sets went as 11-8 and the third set, you managed to keep your opponent down at 11-5. You grew in confidence in uh, keeping her low at, uh, at the third set? Yes, of course. I grew that confidence as you say. Uh, because I went into the court with the intention of playing, intention of winning. Uh, you have been in the final already twice over previously. Coming into the third final, third straight final, was it pressure? Did you have you know, doubts whether will, I, will it be again so close yet so far or what was that feeling around you? Yes, I played uh, finals twice, so both the times I lost. I'm actually not pressurized because I'm the youngest there, so I'm the underdog actually. Oh, actually I had a bit of pressure, I could say like, a bit. 
I was calm this time, I could say, not unlike other times. Other also, everyone saw that. Outside, outsiders, everyone saw that. Chani, you were today, you were really calm, so that's the main reason, so yes.